All right, guys, welcome. Welcome to the second installment of the uh, crypto drawing series, uh, crypto tarot, I mean, drawing series, not just crypto, but crypto tarot. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, we're going to be doing the Eight of Wands. As you can see, we've upped our... Uh, We've upped our environment a little bit. We have the uh, the card right there on the screen, so you guys can see it as we're drawing it. You can see what we're doing. Um, we have some interesting things. We got a new camera. It's uh, it's gonna be a little bit better. We got this top view rather than that side view. Kind of we had an angled view before, so we got a better view now. And one of the things uh, you're gonna see is hopefully a better focus here. The other one had this autofocus, kept going in and out of focus. So this is a little more of a close up and a little better focus too, hopefully. So we'll see how this comes out. Interestingly enough, we have our pens here, but our black pen is not here today. So we don't have a black pen. And if you saw the other drawing video, you know we usually start by kind of sketching the outlines of the black pen. We can't do that because there's no black pen. I went ahead and picked the Eight of Wands because it didn't have a lot of black in it, right? There's, you know, there's some of these... Uh, you know, edges of the wands and the edges of the trees and stuff, but it doesn't have like these black sections. The idea is, the idea is that we're going to be able to do it. We've got this gray pen here. We're going to do this for some of the outlines. We're going to see how it comes out. If it doesn't turn out, we can always just throw it away and do another one. So um, usually we start with our outlines. This is going to be no different. It's just we're going to use a gray pen and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So. This is going to be great. All right, let's push this up a little bit. I usually do notice a okay, little angle here I'm drawing. Uh, we're going to start at the bottom like we usually do for these guys. And we just want to kind of capture these hills here. And we've got a little bit of trees. You can see some trees on there, you know. And basically what we want to do is kind of capture the flow and the feel of that. So it starts out, it's got this little river thing. You can see it kind of goes along. The shore goes along a little bit like this. Uh, looks like it's got a little tuft of grass there that I missed, but I think I can pop that up in a second. Uh, there's a little bit of room here. There's a little bush there. Probably goes a little more, and it kind of goes up. Kind of goes over a little bit. Then we're going to leave room for this little, there's a little tree there. Now, the tree is really small on this, right? And so it just kind of shows up as a kind of darkish spot, but we're going to use green on that darker spot, and we're going to use brown for the trunk on that darker spot. And that should make it pretty cool looking. Let's see what we got here. And we have a limited color palette today. We don't have all of our pens. So we only got some of our pens, but that's okay. I think we can do it with just these pens. Because we can't, like I said, here's just kind of like an olive or a darker green. Um, I really want more of a brown. This is not, I don't think this is a great brown. Let's see what this guy looks like. We'll see if we can do a little bit of trunk here off that one tree. Actually, that's this brown. There we go. See that little tiny spot I put. Um, I think if I go up to the camera, it'll take it out of focus. Let's see. What we do? It's just a little triangle of brown there. A little tiny triangle of brown. And that's going to be for um, the top of that tree. And then we'll go ahead. Let's go ahead and do the, the green part here. Let's get one of our green markers. I'm going to get one of the darker green markers. Uh, that's partly because this is kind of like, with this long distance, it kind of mushes it almost into a dark splotch. little tree there. Uh, I kind of did one leaf out. There we go. I kind of want more rounded. You can see there. I'll go ahead and zoom them up here. You can see I put little dots and stuff. Make that guy there. Okay. So he's there. And it looks like there's a other couple little trees. But those trees don't, um, they don't go over the top. So we can continue to gray a little further. Like this. Gray keeps going. And then there is one more that comes up over the top. And it's almost more like a bush. It doesn't really have a... Uh, so we're kind of, I'm around the leaves rather than dot the leaves. So it's a little different texture than the other one. It's a little more filled in. It looks like then there's another bush here. Right there. Another bush. And that's really part of the, the, the line that goes over where the water is. And I'll connect them. And then it kind of just goes. There's no more uh, bushes going over the top. It kind of goes along. I'm going to kind of use kind of more of a smooth approach. Boy, that was really smooth. <laughs> and then it goes up and up. Are there any more trees? There's no more trees that go over. There's no more trees that go over it. So we'll just kind of swoop down like it does. And then we'll kind of swoop up towards the end here. And I give you to hold this down. Kind of swoop up and it goes over like that. 
it's not exactly the same contour as that, but that's not what we're trying to do. And uh, then on the other side, it's got a bank like this. It's got one little like hooksy portion here, and then it goes like that. And you can just kind of go along like this. And you notice right here, it's the same kind of thing. It has one little like hooksy portion here. And goes off. So now that's that's very interesting. That gray is, is not the same clear borders of black. Um, also, I've noticed I kind of want to turn more like this. It gets better angle for my hand, so I'm just going to do that. When we fill in our wonderful aqua marine, I think I'm going to try this guy. It's not as dark a blue, and I think uh, this doesn't really have a super dark blue, so let's just see how he comes out. One thing I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to catch the flow of the water. Ah, that's a little bit like sea green. I don't know if I like that blue. It's a lighter blue. Let's see how he looks. There we go. I like this blue lighter. That's the light, that's the light of the I like that better. And that's when I kind of make some, you know, we're kind of making some texture. Think of, just think water while you do it. Swish, swish, water, water, swish, water. I am kind of letting these little pearls happen with my hand as I come across there. I really want to fill it in, you know, mostly. So I'm going to come back and do little squiggles and stuff. Gonna follow the shore here. And the water, a little swirling water, right up, right up against those bushes. All right. You can see I'll turn the paper sideways. Really helps me here. Now I notice I feel like our light isn't that great, and I've got extra light on here, so I'm actually gonna up the light balance a little bit of the camera. There we go. Yeah, I make you guys see it a little better there. Oh, I like that better. That's a, that's a nice little improvement there. I'm going to have to lock that light balance down. Yeah, that's just, that's way better. I should have done that from the beginning, but I didn't realize how dark it was until I started actually putting some of the water in there. And the blue didn't really pop. I'm like, why is this blue popping, you know? That looks way better. I can put this down. <laughs> I don't need to be carrying that. And so we're trying to make, like, a little bit of texture with this. Feeling watery, kind of flowing with our hands. Like, oh, I'm flowing water. Become one with the water, guys. So I'm not really trying to make long, straight things. I really kind of want them to be wavy a little bit. See how I'm waving those guys a little more? I think I'm kind of getting better at the watery texture. But then it doesn't look the same as the other ones. So we're kind of blending that in a little bit. Blending in a little bit. We're going to come around these nice little corners. There we go. Something like that. That back and forth action kind of uh, might have been better than the stroke. I was kind of doing stroke just left to right action. The, uh, Back and forth action kind of gave it a little bit of texture, I think. But it's okay. We're going to kind of unite and blend the textures, darken a couple spots. Once again, a little bit of wavery, waveriness to my hand there. There you go. All right, so that gives us our water. Now we got more bushes to do. We're going to use the same dark green to do the bushes. Uh, looks like there's a little grass here that I missed. All right, but this is dark enough to go over the um, water, so that's fine, even though I didn't need the spot. It actually looks fine. It just kind of went over that gray. When you black, it might not go over quite as well, so that's, that's nice. And actually, there's a little bush here. A little bush here. And he actually does go right up to the water's edge as well as the other one. So put him there. So we've got one tree, two bushes. We've got one little vertical thing here, which I think is just another tree, basically. And another little dotty one here. All right. It's mostly a plane, but it's, a couple, it's got a couple of these little dots, these little bushes. And I'm actually just going to add a bush here. I feel like it needs a little tiny bush here. A little tiny bush there. And that's it for the bushes on this. They're all over on this left side here. Um, and that's just kind of the way it is. I'm actually going to make these two little bushes. A little bit bigger. A little more, little more bush-like. Leaves. Kind of wiggle them around. And we, once again, we can kind of push it up. Here you can see how I did the texture on those. Oh, you can't unless I change the focus. But you get the idea. Yeah, you can kind of see the texture. We got some moundy bushes. We got some. We got some moundy. Well, here we, we got some moundy bushes. We got some tall bushes. We got some trees. Right. So a couple different textures on there. And even that one over all the way to the left has a couple grassy bits that stick up. Um, but that's it for that. Then they actually have yellow and green. So that yellow is kind of more towards the edge, and that light green tells them, hey, there's this very light, grassy, kind of sandy look to it. So we're going to see if we can replicate that. We've got this yellow, but it might be too yellow. we got another yellow here. It's a little darker. 
So we're going to see if we can just do a very light yellow in here. And it's pretty yellow. I don't know if I want it that yellow. But I'm mostly trying to put it near the edges here. Kind of highlight the edge of this guy. A little bit of yellow. It's, they've got these yellow swaths going even a little further out on a couple of these. Like it's yellow near the edge, and then there's some yellowish bits. You can see I made the yellow a little wider over here. And the idea is I'll be able to blend it in with the green, all right, and it'll look like a shoreline with yellow sand and then kind of green grass that grows afterwards. So get that yellow in there. Let's pick a green. Now, if you watch some of the other, if you've seen some of the other art, we got two greens here. Which will we do? We'll try this one first. Uh, well, that's, that actually looks a little darker. Let's see. It's got a narrow point. Now, let's try this one. See, do I? So we're just going to very lightly kind of go like this. Give it a texture. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, very light texture like that. What we want to do here. There we go. I noticed the back and forth motion. Maybe it's more good at this down motion. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Give it some texture there. And we're going to try to blend it kind of with the um, with the yellow. Now you notice the yellow does come out a little bit more in their picture, but not too much more. So it's pretty good. If you've seen some of the other ones, a lot of times I do little bits of grass, but I think this is just too high a view to show individual blades of grass. So I'm kind of smearing it and doing this diagonal thing. Kind of smearing it down. Putting real edge on my marker, so it's not. It almost looks like a hill, doesn't it? There we go. I'm gonna try to blend a little bit more. To blend with that yellow. Not to come up to it, but get a little. Uh, in with the yellow. Uh, all right, so there we go. There's our our bottom. That looks pretty good, actually. I like that. And the gray doesn't look too bad as a bordering thing. Now, now we got some mountains. Now here's where the black lines really would help. They would help sort of delineate where these hills come, right? So it's got a hill here that comes up, over, and then it comes, let's turn this sideways all the way here. It comes up, over, and that kind of comes down like this. It goes smooth, right? And then there's another part here actually goes up a little higher even. I think there's a little manor on the hill there. It's going to come up and come down. And then bumps up again. And comes down some more like this. And this actually is the uh, the line that goes all the way up to the sky. Now you notice I'm going to need to leave some room. This one, uh, this one staff actually goes all the way to the water, but I didn't leave room for it, so that was a mistake. That's okay. Um, we'll just not kind of, just not, I mean, it can go as far, but what we're going to do is we're going to draw the staff now. All right, so it's got a nice angle to it. It's going to be kind of straight. All right, like this, like that. And then it's going to hit right here. It's going to go across, down. It's going to go almost really into the water here. And then we're going to do the end of the staff like this, kind of right there. Let's draw the other side. Let's see how good we can get this. Once again, I don't really see there's one twig in there. We'll get that in there. Definitely looks different with the black marker. But there we go. So that's our staff that kind of interrupts our lines there. Now, uh, let's see. This one line goes all the way to the staff. Actually, both these lines go all the way to the staff. This, has a, this actually splits like this. It has a line that goes to the staff. Oops. I actually went over a little bit right there into the staff. That's okay. I'll color that with some, uh, some brown. And then we have like this line, a little bit of a hill here, and then we go ahead and go off the page a little hill. Okay, so there we go. Now we want to have this kind of has another like texture piece there, and then there's actually a little like hut or something here. I don't know what this is, a little hut thing here. Draw that in like that. And then there's a tree next to it. Like a little tree here next to it. We'll draw him in, and that's actually you know, cover up some of the hill. Um, he's actually a little perched on top of the hill. You can see that. There's also some trees here on the other side of us, right little bushes or something. And this thing is basically a yellow, 
but I don't want to use the same yellow I already used over there, so I'm going to use this kind of orangey yellow. I'm going to fill him in. And just to make, I think I'm going to make it clear that that's a little structure. So I'm going to put a couple little windows in here. Now, normally the windows would stand out really well with the black. This is the gray, so they have to be good enough for that. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and get some more trees on here. Just like a little bush here. Right here, there's, there's a little break in the gray, so put the bush there. And there's a big one coming, uh, it goes up, down, kind of comes on the side here. But I'm actually going to put it in a different place because I accidentally left a little bit of gray open. There we go. There's our bush. And here, here let's get our little brown again. We're going to put like a little tree here with some brown. And actually, they only have one tree that kind of stands alone there. But I'm going to make it a couple of trees, little tops of trees here. A little triangle and a little triangle. And then we're going to fill these in. And maybe I shouldn't put them all in a row. They look like three lollipops all in a row there. So uh, that usually trees don't grow all in rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another little tree here. So they're not all in a row. There we go. And that way. You have some trees on top of trees, and it doesn't look quite artificial. All right, now what else do we have? We've got a little, little bushes over here. A little bush, bush, bush. All right. Uh, coming up here, there's a couple texture lines. That all seems right. Uh, looks like there's two more little trees over here, but I kind of drew a whole pops over here, so I don't want too many. I'm going to draw one little, like one little bush over there. We'll give him a little trunk. We'll make him a tree. You got a little trunk on there. All right, so we got that. We got that. We need a couple more bushes. Oh, let's close. I try to make sure I close my markers every time in between, right? Let's see. So what else do we want? We want uh, how many other bushes do we want? There's a tree. I got my crops of trees. I got those. There's a few more bushes on this other side here. So we'll draw just a little stand of wood. And one little one trailing off the edge of that. There's our bushes. I don't think we need any more now. Now let's get our yellow. Let's get our yellow here. And let's go ahead and get this bank here, right? So this is supposed to be like a sandy bank. Is this the yellow we used last time? I forget which yellow we used that last time. No, I think we used this other yellow. Right? No, doesn't look right. Is this yellow? I think it's this yellow. There we go. And now here, once again, this is just kind of some sand to the edge here. So we're just going to blur this gray line and go a little deeper. And you notice they show the sand again here, right? Right here on this edge. So like this other hill has a little sand here. So we'll put those guys on top. A little sand here on top of this guy. Like that. And also here where these two gray lines come together. It's some sand there. There especially. And then here actually they don't show much sand over on this side after it gets past the thing. So that's interesting. So I did that a little different than they did. Um, but yeah, so now we got some yellow sand in there. And there's a couple spots like inside of here. There's a little bit of sand. Right in here. And there's a couple like, you know, the sand, there's a couple sand spots uh, along this hill here. So we'll just put some of the yellow in here. All right, looks great, looks great. Now we're gonna do the same green mark we used for that. We're gonna try to get a feel of like kind of grass. Blend it with the yellow. Okay. Just mix those lines in. The other ones are kind of up and down lines. These are kind of more horizontal. And we're going to turn the paper and see what happens. There we go.
I think, yeah, there's a few more bushes on the other side, but we can put the bushes on top of this light green, so we're just going to go ahead and keep them around as long as it's coloring. And color all of this. Nice light green. Real light green. This marker thing is running out of ink, but we can use that in the art. You know, we, uh, look at that looks great. Yeah. That looks great. Okay. And here. Nice hill. Maybe it's a little darker green on the hill because more of the grass grows up there away from the sandy edges of the water. Alright, so. There we go. Alright, looking good, guys. That looks great. Wow, very hilly. And it's interesting, the two different sides, it's interesting the texture is a little different up here compared to uh, down here, where it's got, you know, sort of that diagonal. Anyway, that's neat. That's neat. It's like the the stuff that's closer to your vision. You can kind of maybe see the grains a little more, and the other one's kind of blurred out more. But anyway, we got our highlights. I actually, looking at it, the yellow highlights are a little strong, so I'm going to try to blend the green kind of on top of the yellow highlights a little bit. So it Kind of blend a little more, just kind of mix the green with the yellow. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Now, that looks great. Now we're ready to do our first wand. All right, so our first wand, we're going to need our brown pen. So I think we got a brown one here that looks pretty good when I did it. And if you watch the other videos, you know that we try to sort of capture. Oh, wait, you know, before we do the inside, it's got three spots where it's got leaves coming out. So let's do that first. All right, it's got one set of leaves right here. Actually, you know, uh, here, let's do this. Got one leaf there, one leaf there. And then here, it's got the leaf, it's got a triple leaf, one, two, three. And then over here, it's actually, I, I did leave a little bit of room here for a couple leaves. Now, to connect the leaves to the staff, I'm actually gonna have like a little brown twiggy kind of brown twig thing. Dot of brown there. And then, here's the excitement, guys. We are going to add some leaves. So, with our leaf color, I'm going to use this. It's actually slightly different green than either one of those. And we're just going to get that colored in. Nice and leafy. Nice and leafy. And you can see the difference with the leaf green and the other greens. So you can tell the leaves apart. Now, here's the next thing. This is exciting. It's one of my favorite things when we do the wands, is doing these little curls. And I like to kind of figure out, okay, if, if it's going this way, then how are these little, little, uh, kind of wooden, they're kind of wooden, what you call it, marks. And wooden texture marks. All right? Things like this. They've got black in there, so they're using black uh, to, to show the shadow on the bottom side. I'm kind of doing it the other way. What I'm doing is I'm coming from the bottom where it's darker, and that gets more of the brown. And then when I come up, I don't necessarily go all the way up to the gray line. And then, see, I want more of a curve. I don't want to a couple lines in the curve. It's taking a more. And then that leaves right here, for example, leaves a little bit of white that um, shows. I'm not getting a good curl. I'm coming. I'm going to flip the whole thing around because I really want this curl to curl. I want curl. I'm just doing all straight. There we go. Curls. You know what else I think I might do? Curls. Yeah, there we go. Curls. Yeah, you, you know what else I'm thinking, guys? Is I'm thinking this gray. I'm thinking I just put in a little bit of brown. There we go. On top of this gray. Because brown works as well as a texture line. Or not a texture line. A... Uh, edge line and the gray is so light it doesn't really work as well as the black did for that so i'm adding a little brown here just you know showing the edge of the staff is even better there. A little brown in there. The brown's a pretty dark color i feel like right here a little more wood grains a little more wood grains that's not too bad i love the curls on this side they really came out and i like how the white is open on the other ones that's a decent form that's one number one. We're going to get eight of these bad boys. So, really, now it's just eight more wands of varying sizes with varying um, guys there. And the spacing is interesting. It's like there's a pair and there's another one. I think I am going to stick with the gray, but I think I'm going to do the brown. Maybe I'll just do brown and then brown, gray for the leaves. Maybe brown for the edges. 
All right, so none of the other ones interfere with the other guys. That makes it easy. We've got a stack here. All right. And do all of them go off the page? Yeah, all of them go off the page. So we're just going to bring it all the way up and off the page. And here it's kind of got a gnarled end, so I'm gnarling in there. The sticks aren't perfectly straight, so it's cool if the sticks aren't perfectly straight. Okay. There's one. He's kind of fatter than the other one, isn't he? <laughs> a little, little fat wand. Uh, this one sticks a little further, I think. Comes out. We're doing this without black. It's going to come out pretty good without the black. Some of, some of them you're going to have to have black. It's not going to work. And you see how uneven. These are not perfectly straight lines. But, you know, you're not going to worry about that. So these two are kind of a pair here. First two are kind of pair. And by kind of holding my hand down, I'm going to get a more uh, clear line. Rather than kind of, a lot of times you go, shh, 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 and that's to make it straighter, because that sort of actually makes it straighter, but also kind of breaks it up. All right, so that's the two sets of two, and then there's four more. So one, this is kind of a short guy. Shorty. Shorty. And he's long off the page. And one longer and two, and that's even longer still. Look at that wiggly little line there, and then number three. Who's actually a little shorter? So round down. So you can see those are very wiggly lines, right? And they're not like these perfect, well, I'm good at showing things to cameras. They're not these perfect lines. they got dents in them and everything else. But that's going to be kind of ameliorated by the way we do our, our, our uh, texturing. We'll kind of we'll make that look better. Um, the other thing is we do need our leaves, and they kind of have them everywhere. If you look, each one has about three or four little spots where they have two or three leaves. Right, so every single one of them has leaves at the end. So we're gonna do all the leaves at the end first. And we're gonna do one, look at this guy. One, two, three. And then we're gonna do this guy. He's just gonna have two. Let's, let's do different amounts of leaves and different kind of sides too. Like this guy's gonna be growing down over here, two, three. Whereas this guy has what? He's got him kind of, kind of mushed up against, just two. I would do three on that one. Uh, and then this guy will have two. He kind of has several. Two seconds. He's got one, two there, and then he's got one separate out over there. And then this guy has a couple here. And look at the third one there. And this guy has kind of one here, and then two that are separate there. And so if you draw, like, the, I actually kind of drew it there. You know, make some brown twigs that kind of attach the leaves. And what you'll notice try to get some brown in there right at the base of each leaf. Uh, and this one's like a stick that comes all the way out and then has the two other leaves. And let's see, I'll tell you what, I'm going to draw my sticks first this time. So this guy has a guy here that comes out a little bit in the stick. And he's a guy here that comes out a little bit in the stick. And then this guy has the bottom one here. We'll put the bottom one here. And his top one's actually very far forward, but I'm going to change. I'm going to put it right here. There was a natural little uh, bump that I had made. You don't have to do the stuff exactly. It's supposed to be, you know, art. And I'm not drawing the exact picture. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking parts where there's already a little bit of a divot from where I just naturally wiggle, and I'm making those into where we have these sticks coming out, right? Every one of those is going to get these little leaves drawn on it. Some are going to have two. Some are going to have three. I drew the lines, like some of these lines have some kind of bumpy parts or whatever. Like this guy here has like two different parts, so I'll put leaves on both parts. And there we go. Okay, we got some uh, ready for the leaves there. 
Um, I have a feeling my hand's going to be all over this thing when I fill in the texture. So I'm actually going to wait to fill in the texture uh, until I do my lines. Let's do the lines first. So here, once again, I really want to get my hand at an angle that I can keep doing this, right? And all of them are darker on the bottom because the light's kind of coming from the top of this picture. So if anything, I want to start from the bottom, make sure I touch the bottom, and then sometimes don't come all the way up to the top. Especially, see how there's a bump right here that goes up? I left that white space in there for it. All right. Once again, you're not trying to be perfect. Perfect is actually not only impossible, it's wrong, right? This is nature, and there's all these bumps and wiggles and everything else. And that's what makes it fun. And believe it or not, that's what makes it pleasing to the human eye, is all those little bumps and wiggles and stuff. So don't be afraid to bump a lot or wiggle a lot or any of that stuff. And this is why I didn't fill in those, those leaves. I don't want to smear when I, because I'm putting my hand on top. Get these guys some nice little slightly curved. The curve goes with the curve of the stick, right? So curve kind of curved around like that. You know, sticks have little rounded parts or whatever. And just naturally, sometimes you're not going to go all the way to the edge. And that leaves nice uh, little white highlights on the top. Alright, guys, looking good. Alright. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. The camera work is better in this video than our first video. And the, uh, even though we didn't have a black marker, the drawing came out nice. I'm to set the two there, huh? Ooh, my hand's starting to zip up. I should be able to finish the piece, but definitely don't hurt yourself or over, over tighten your hand. Look, loosen up, little hand. Loosen up. It's right. Doing little guys, little zebras. Especially at the end, I really want a good curve to kind of catch the end of that stick and make it feel curvy. Not curvy, curvy is the wrong word. Rounded, rounded stick. Right. I really like the fact that we have uh, this picture up here, you know, so you can. You guys can see everything I'm talking about as I'm talking about. That was one of the main things I didn't like about the other videos. We didn't have a, a good picture that people could see. But we got some new camera equipment. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Hands getting tired, man. Hands getting tired. Curvy guys here. Whew. All right, two more, two more. I'll tell you what, let's take a break from this since my hand's kind of feeling wiped out. And let's do, let's do some leaves in the time. Kind of, you know, take a break from that motion and make some leaves here. Now with the leaves, you are basically just trying to fill it, but the, at the angles you fill it at will change how the leaves, not angles, but kind of the grain of your, of your marker to make the leaves. Like even there, I went a little bit out of the line, right? But put a little, a little tip on the leaf when I went out of line. So it actually made it look more leafy. Right. And you can make them, the gray is real easy to color over if you want to make it a little bigger, smaller, or whatever. Now, I love the shape of some of these leaves. Take a break on leaves. On some of these leaves, just the way I went, bloop, bloop, it gives them like a texture, right? They, they look like their leaf is going this way or this way. So let's see if we can finish our uh, brown here. Almost green. With this texturing, and of course, the 
Then it's uh, the, the sky will come next. All right, we're going to have to get a really light blue. And uh, we have been using this crayon blue. It's like this uh, crayon thing that came with, uh, that we don't have those, we don't have all our markers basically because we're traveling. So we kind of have a different set. But um, that crayon blue is not an option. And last time I tried to make one, I'm going to show you guys some pictures here in a second actually, now that we've opened up the floodgates and talking about other pictures. Uh, basically, it looked like it was raining. It made it look like it was raining, which is kind of cool because it could have been raining in the picture. But um, ooh, jumped up and down. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, let's get that camera. There we go. But, um, <clears throat> I might not be able to do the sky if my marker's too dark, basically, is what I'm getting down to. Alright, let's get this guy. Let's fill the rest of these leaves. I mean, I don't want it to look like it was raining like it did last time. I just had a really heavy marker, and it just looked blue. It looked like water, you know, it didn't look like, uh, did not look like sky. And the lighter sort of crayon guy did better. Okay, so now, obviously it's a blue sky, right? And <clears throat> I think this is the blue we use for the water. I'll tell you what, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and leave the sky white for now uh, until I get that crayon marker. The crayon marker, you can go like this, and it's just real light. Uh, I don't know, maybe should we take a risk? Life's about risk, isn't it? <laughs> if I could do... If I could somehow know that it wasn't going to be too dark, can I do it light? Let's just try. It's too it's too fun not to try. Right? Life's about trying stuff. So we're going to just going to try to get real light here. Does that look like rain or does that look like a sky? It's like a sky. So what I'm doing here, I, can you guys even see it? I'm just, where's that corner? Okay, there's the corner. Eh. Yeah, you can barely, you see it, well, let's drop it. You can barely, you see right there, you can, in that corner, you can barely see that blue. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing such a light touch here. Just absolutely barely, barely getting that blue on there. You almost can't even see the strokes. I don't know about the map. There you go. I mean, that is the lightest touch. I don't know if you can see... Uh, right there. You see that red? You can see it. It's a very light touch there. That's a very light touch there for the sky. Ooh, I just did a dark... I, I, what happens is I turn the marker in my hand a little bit. You can see we got a little extra blue there in that one spot. That's okay. You know, a light touch. Really light touch here. That touch is so light. I'm just barely covering it. Oh, that looks great. I love that light touch. See, you can see it there. Very light touch there. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, God, I, I showed you guys, so now I'm going to turn the marker in. It's going to be really dark again. We don't want that. We want this light touch all the way through. So let's start here. There we go. See, very light touch. Very light touch. Very light. Very light. Lighter than light. Which is a little sky. A little sky. There we go, and I blend it together. It looks good. I couldn't, I, I couldn't leave it undone. The white sky would look too unnatural to me. So, it's a big area. It's easy to make a mistake in this big area. Wow. A big, dark one in the middle of it. Would that look good? I don't want that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead while I'm doing these big sections. I'm just going to keep going. A little further, a little more, a little more. There we go. Wow, that is a light touch, man. That is a really light touch. You can see it, though. You can see that, that texture. Same thing here. All the way down. Sometimes a marker that's almost out of ink can actually be your friend. You can use it for this kind of stuff. This marker, if I press down, it would do more, but with not pressing all the way down, it's just what I want. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's 
funny, I said it's not supposed to be perfect, and I keep using the word perfect. Eh. Eh. What can I say, guys? Hey, you can't see me when I'm working on this. I should, I should turn this. And put this down like that. There we go. Hey, guys. <laughs> We're still working on our camera setup, so. Uh, I didn't think of that. I think you guys should have seen this view the whole time when I was doing it, but I was, I was concentrating on the other stuff, so. We're learning, we're learning. Right around these mountains. Oh, that looks great. That looks great. Very happy with that. You know, just say that as you're doing your picture. Just, you know, you say it to yourself. Pump yourself up, right? I think it needs a little more on the top here. A little more. Maybe that's going to start looking like it's raining soon now if I do too much. These lines will come through. It looks. What we really want is a marker that it's not so pointy. This is a very sharp marker, and that helps with this kind of stuff. But oh well. We got what we got, man. We're gone with what we got. All right, there we go. That's pretty darn good. I don't think I want to just top it up a little more, but that's okay. That's going to be it. We're not going to do any more. All right, so that's our guy. He looks great. We're very happy with him here, just so you guys can see. Boy, I'm good at, I'm good at <laughs> everything on the camera is backwards, but you can see there. Here's a guy a little closer. Uh, I can actually do this here, so you guys can get a really good view. Here, let's put it, let's do this. Let's, uh, where's our focus? Focus is here. There we go. Now you can see up close and in focus what I'm talking about here. All right, let's get a little closer. I want our town, I want our town to show. There's our town. Not town, there we go, look at that. Look at that. You see that? Looks great. All those strokes make it so interesting to look at. And it just makes it a nicer piece of art, you know, for people to look at. You can see the sky here. So you can see those really light texture marks I did. All that stuff came out great. Those leaves look great. And as we put it back down here, let's focus again. There we go, focus there. As we come back there, you can see the whole thing really comes together. It really looks like this is far in the distance, and these wands are right up front. And they're shooting through a blue sky, so that's what we wanted. Very happy with this. This is our Eight of Wands, second uh, one that was done live on a Crypto Tarot uh, video feed. So you guys uh, have some fun. Do some drawing of some tarot cards yourself, and uh, have a good one, guys.